rationality. It doesn't mean a thing to me. I hate when people complicate things you're, with logic. You're confusing me with reason it's, and logic. It's much easier to just think what I want to think. Exactly, because I'm not ignore every other challenged. Thing. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Facebook, 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 Facebook. and subscribe to the channel, you little hellions that what? haven't yet. What? Why is SAG sending me an in-person event to go see Being the Ricardos and the SAG Awards are over? Uh, you stupid idiot! Stop it. Anyway. No one that's watching this can relate to what you just said. <laughs> uh, but uh, today we're doing a movie review, Chijin. Blew away. And uh, today it's a we watched the 2015 Malayalam film Primam, uh, directed and written by uh, Alfonso Puthran. Puthran? I think that's close enough for hand Alfonso grenades. Alfonso Puthran, uh, starring a whole bunch of people. Uh, if you if you're not familiar, it's a young it's a um, a young man has three opportunities to find. <laughs> Uh, find love. It's essentially a coming of age story. Um, it is, and uh, it, well, it's a good it doesn't need it. It gives yeah, it away. It gives a little too much away. Yeah. But anyways, uh, this will be 100 cents for the view. It came out 2015. You haven't watched it. We s we actually saw it on. What is that? Ethan, it's a, it's a it's a site that we can get some Indian films out. There's a last resort that we go to. That you guys uh, have greater accessibility. So you might just have be able right. to access this. Just search it. But anyways, uh, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back, because this is going to be a 100% spoiler review Correct. of this film. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. 15th of the year, 222nd all time. And interestingly, mm. this is 222, and for Malayalam, it's 22. So it's 222. 22 films? The 22nd Malayalam film, our 222nd all time, we need to get to in the year every... 2022. I feel like we need to get to 100 of everything. We should have planned this and done it on February 22nd. <laughs> so... Before I read the paragraph, I'm gonna let I'm gonna say that depending upon what Corbin thought of the movie, I'll be offering you a giant lob to slam right back at me at the end of my paragraph. Depending on what you thought of the movie. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Okay. At the two hour and six minute mark of this film, somebody asks, What's your opinion about love? Considering the film is literally literally called love, I'm happy to answer that question, but remember, it's an opinion. I do try to align my opinions with absolute truth and objective reality, but at the end of the day, a movie review is still just an opinion, and opinions are by nature subjective. Example, I have an opinion about Hajmola. You may love it, I do not. My opinion isn't wrong, neither, neither is yours. However strongly, I may disagree with it or not understand it. So when I say Primam is not my cup of tea, and I'll explain why as we discuss, you may disagree with that opinion, but my opinion is not wrong. I, I I personally, it, it, it wasn't, it's really a tale of two halves for me. I liked the second half, mm -hmm. um, but even still in liking the second half, for me, it just wasn't, it, it, it wasn't my cup of tea. Mm. Um, but it's not one of those films where I see it and there's like these flaws that I can point to in the cinematic artistry level of things. I think this is just interpretive a matter of how mm. you particularly feel about a film, mm. and for me, it just uh, I'm, I'm not in it. Just wasn't my cup of tea. Yeah, I, I thought it was a nice film. I, I do agree, though. Uh, the, I think I think this one especially has a barrier of Malayali, a hundred percent that, that yeah. others didn't. In not in, in multiple aspects, in terms of like subtitles that are ridiculously fast. That was, that was insane. Especially in the first half. It was almost like half a second. It was, there was a lot of stuff I, in the first yeah. half that I just straight up didn't even get a, a chance to read. Yeah, you don't get a chance. Nope. Uh, and so I'm sure there was a lot of information there. And obviously I'm sure there's a lot of local dialects and jokes and, and jokes. stuff and, yep. and, and kind of um, stuff that you, like, normal Malayalis would relate to in that aspect uh, that we totally and utterly missed. Yeah. Different than uh, when we saw the... Um, uh, Mohanlal film with the green face that was just that was like um just cultural i feel like right bit, like extremely heavily cultural old cultural old stuff, cultural yeah uh, that 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 was different this yeah. is still probably has some uh, some cultural stuff that we didn't understand but overall i do agree that there were some there was definitely some i definitely liked the second half it's more than this much movie. but i think the actors were definitely stronger in the second half as well i thought everything was stronger i don't know if they i don't know if the editing was when they were filming it as well, but yeah. like I felt like 
like I could see so much of the hard work. I really felt bad saying I'm not in mm. because I saw how hard stuff was done yeah. in, in cinematography and everything I else. I don't know that I could say that I'm not in. I can say that, obviously, I think as a Malayali, you'll definitely love this film and being able to Would not watch surprise it me. a lot more. Would not more, surprise me. Um, this film than somebody has who has to read subtitles. Yeah, I think <coughs> my Hajmola analogy is pretty good and, that, and even, even pun. There's just, there's some taste yeah, cinematically but, yeah, that, that but still has Hajmola ingredients. Hajmola is just dog shit. No, I know. I'm just, uh, my, my, <laughs> My analogy being, there are just some things. It, cinema's a lot like cuisine, in that there are some principles you need to follow in order for mm. things to work right. However, there are some culinary aspects in certain parts of the world that are so definitively enmeshed in culture and have particular flavorings that only people in that culture have been accustomed yeah. to it and like it. And it either is an acquired taste or you never get it. Yeah. And I think this, this has I, that I issue. I think that um, there's definitely a lot to like in this film and a lot that did really well, a lot that was really unique. There was a lot of story was... in terms of how it was filmed uh, and what the director and cinematographers decided to, to do. They hate steady shots. Yeah. And absolutely despise them. I think yeah. it was like two. I think in a lot of time it's, it's, it's Seinfeld. I think yeah. a lot of the time it's a movie just about nothing. It's yeah. just people in moments um but yeah I, I overall like the message of 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 love and how long it takes some people to find love or multiple different love and the love you have with your friends right that you grow up with and them always having your back and i right. i thought there was some funny moments like i actually thought it was real funny at the end when they were beating him up i love <laughs> i thought, that, I thought the that was one great. laugh out loud moment i had yeah the one that actually did make me laugh out yeah, loud yeah, yeah. and i went okay that's pretty funny was the coke sniffing yeah, 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 yeah. fiance. Yeah. The moment he slapped, hard cut to George and Celine wed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I really enjoyed that. That was very I, funny. I really enjoyed that part. Um, I definitely think it could have been shorter for sure. Oh, and yeah. maybe, maybe that was just because the subtitle issue made it kind of drag uh, in some parts. I think it did have a good pace often. It had a bunch of really good songs and it had all that kind it of stuff. It definitely maintained its pace. Uh, yeah. Um, and so it's not one that was, I was like, it's as exhausting watching this. Um, but I mean, let's go overall. Yeah. I yeah, do yeah, think yeah. the second half was definitely stronger, but I think all the actors were pretty strong, they especially were. the females. Uh, I thought they did all really, really well. All of his love interest yeah. did really good job. Agreed. They were all very, very captivating. Agreed. Um, and that's not shocking from Malayalam. I mean, outside of maybe that's just cause they wanted to seem like a dick, uh, the coke sniffing, uh, fiance, right? He wasn't particularly strong. No, but maybe they just made that choice of making him just a gross a asshole, gross kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, he was the one that kind of stood out the most in terms of acting. Yeah, um, I think the Georges got stronger as they aged. I agree. Um, that's not, I guess, shocking, right? I mean, no, but actors not, usually get stronger as they age. But not just in portrayal, mm -hmm. but I felt like in the way it was scripted. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so one of the things, and we'll get into performance for sure. I just wanted to add this before I forget. And this is, again, part of my opinion and why I made my paragraph mostly about my opinion in this regard, because what I'm about to say, we ran into the same thing with Super Deluxe, where I was talking about fake crying, and a lot of people, a lot of stupid babies were saying, this is the way this is in our culture. It's very common it, in all these films now, too. Yeah, and I was like, okay, well, all I've ever been exposed to is that that's, that's bad acting. Yeah. And, but they're saying, they're, no, they're actually portraying what people really do. Yeah, that's crazy. The same thing happened here. What I'm about to talk about I believe is part of the culture. But for me, and I, I wrote it down, I don't enjoy watching what for me I perceive to be grown men, college age guys, mm -hmm. behaving like adolescent boys when they interact with women that mm -hmm. they like. And I, I know that that's real, and I know that that happens, but it, it's, it's something that I've personally never understood, admired, or been entertained by, mm -hmm. unless it's like complete absurdist comedy. So that's one of the reasons why the first half being so loaded yeah. with that adolescent that boyhood kind of by men, distances me from caring about characters and paying deep attention yeah. to them because I just can't relate to it. Yeah. It's not it's not a fault of theirs. They're depicting reality, but it's why um, I don't get absorbed into the story. I thought um, all the... Because um, I, I was actually sad a lot of times when they... Because I think one of the strongest things of the film is actually this, the kind of... It's a really almost 96-style story. It, Great except that, that one was one girl. This is his life, yeah. the different kinds of love That's a finds. good comparison. Um, but I like that aspect of it, of it takes some people a long time to find the right one. And also apparently there might be multiple right ones, just not the right time. Just there's a whole bunch of different stuff. And I like that. And then weaving the, the friend love 
end with it. I, I like that. And the butterflies yeah. throughout. Yeah. I like that. I like the, that. The flittiness of the butterflies. I like that a lot. Um, and it was super, super, I thought, unique. Because um, <laughs> I, I didn't see, I didn't know this. I don't think we've ever reacted to the, the trailer for this. Uh, got recommended, obviously, a lot, and that's why we watched it. But um, the I didn't see a lot of the stuff coming. So I didn't know, like, the original was just going to get married off. And you're like, oh, okay. And then you get attached to the second one. And then she's gone. And you're like, okay, she's going to come back. This is really, I like their relationship. And then she's gone. And then she yeah. has brain damage, amnesia. and oh, Which I knew something. It's Malayalam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew we were going to go somewhere like that. Uh, and then I was like, okay, we have, what, 40 minutes left in the That's film. That's exactly what we're I gonna did, We're going to have too. another love interest. Exactly. I'm assuming he's going to get her in the end. Because right. that's film you know they yeah. kind of have to have a happy ending usually um and then so it's i thought that was really unique i think it could have been tighter for sure uh in terms of make like um have, there were some lull moments for me definitely yeah. i think yeah. a two-hour film might have been better than a two and a half the, the part of the lulls for me probably for a malayalam audience would not be a lull in any way shape or yeah, form yeah, yeah. it was the fly on the wall aspect of like when they're playing cards or they're just basically doing anything yeah like seinfeld which is about nothing with the friends yeah Great. Let me give you a great example. But that's what friends do also. So. I think comparatively, I think if a Malayalam person were to just jump into American cinema and watch, for example, or even after a couple of years and watch The Florida Project, they would appreciate how well it was done, but culturally they wouldn't get what it means to be living in an apartment like that in Miami and getting ice cream and, and some of the, the things that are done culturally yeah. that I could just sit and watch all day because I grew up that way. Yeah. So that's why I say it's my opinion about it. I'm not saying this is bad movie making in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. I see most of the attempt of it being good, but I agree. Yeah. That was part of the pacing problem. Yeah, for, for sure. Uh, and I think that's probably, it was all probably definitely on purpose of, because that's what friends do. They sit around, they Absolutely. talk about nothing. Absolutely. They, they, <laughs> Just do and they were very, shit. they were very believable very in believable. that regard. Uh, absolutely. Um, and I thought the cinematographer and the director, like for this style of film, it was almost shot sometimes like an action film, like in terms of yeah. how much he <laughs> didn't like just, and it's not a fault. It's just, it's so different. And I actually enjoyed the difference that they decided it to was go quirky. with. Because it was like, there was one shot, they're just talking and they're circling. Like it there, it's like it's like a stick up or something like that. I'm like, whoa! I did that a lot. Even yeah. like when his dad shows up at the principal's office mm -hmm. and slaps him with his words, and he gets up and they're like, bum bum ba bum ba, and he's tying us to the yeah. I thought that was funny. I liked the, the the bring back of obviously when they were younger and to go beat up those people. Obviously they've got the big music, which is great. Oh yeah, good, great soundtrack. But then when they brought it back at the end, one last time, when his friends are gonna go beat up that guy, and I thought it was hilarious what they did. They were like, you, you the petrol prices are too high. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, is this a mistake? And then they're like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry, man. And then they just left. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was very funny. I did, but I, I like the too. bring back of that. It, it, um, had, it had this weird mixture. I mean, uh, well, before I get into that, let's just stick to the quirkiness of the direction and cinematography. Yeah. Because they also made some really pretty choices in oh, yeah. terms of very some of the people. effects things they did, rain going backwards. Uh, I loved the moment when they're doing. Well, the he was dance. also the editor as well. The, oh, he might well, be an editor. I wonder. Explains why a lot of that was very, very good. I'm wondering if he is an editor and then he became a director because could be. If the I, there was definitely a stick out. The editing choices were as a, a major noticing point. I agree. This film. I agree. So it wouldn't shock me if like he's just like I want to have fun. Yeah, I agree. The the other thing it was weird to me because I'll point out two things that just were incongruent for me. That was mm -hmm. one of the other reasons I wasn't in. Uh, so one of my favorite things, and I'll point one of my least favorite things, this is about story. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things is how in the end we find out that the teacher has had her memory restored, yeah. but she doesn't tell him. Yeah. Because that was she, an interesting... I, I didn't see it coming, yeah. and I thought that was a really nice thing to add. Yeah, I was, I was wondering, I was like, why'd they bring her back? Right. What, what's the... I know, me too. What's the point what's here? What's the point? Just, and then <laughs> when it came out that she was... They remembered again, and she remembered who he was, right. and how she loved him, and that's what I was going off. How one of my favorite parts is the story of it. Of you might have uh, your the love might not have worked out, or it might not just have been the right time, or right. the right circumstance. It might have been the right time, but obviously she had an accident. Right, it's no longer the right. And my wife was kind of mad that he just didn't stick around and try to remember. With of course, <laughs> she uh, was like, "You could have waited." Could have waited. <laughs> If you, well, it felt quite selfish in that regard. But when he was he, young. So. He was young. 
and that's usually what happens in that mm -hmm. regard, which is which is why it's great to see it in those three stages. But then, for justification points in the story where some of the things lacked believability mm -hmm. for me and credibility, I notated were um, uh, how quickly we just went from she is had the accident, has lost her memory, and boom, edit, she's getting married. Oh, okay. Uh, that that I was took a, that up a to the culture thing. Quick yeah. jump to me, as was the. I, I felt like it was way too easy just on the day of the engagement that the mm. coke sniffing horrible person yeah. that that is our that's our reason for her to not marry him and go back to be with George mm. that to me was just yeah. from a writing standpoint was like that was yeah. that was a sentence of writing to do something and yeah. it, I think more time could have been used in that rather than some of the fly on the wall early stuff especially yeah. when it was I I it was laborious for me, like I said earlier, to watch what I saw as grown men being adolescent boys. A lot of the first half was spent just with that. Mm -hmm. That's if I were to change anything in the script and the time, the runtime, it would have been let's let's do a lot less of the adolescent boy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I I did get comparisons. Some people said to like um, Bangalore Days, but I think this is a much better film than Bangalore Days. Overall, it didn't make me think about Bangalore days. Yeah, no, it didn't remind me of that. No, people maybe, uh, maybe people would just talk about the coming of age Malayalam stories. Probably, maybe, but I, this I think this is a much better film overall. I, I, I like than, your comparison. Yeah, I think ninety six to ninety six. But that maybe they were just comparing it to a Malayalam film. I don't know. Well, and it's different. That's a Tamil film, and it's obviously different from ninety six because. That was one love that he had that he'd never laid Well, off. and it's not anywhere remotely close to the quirkiness that this yeah. is. This thing is almost Napoleon Dynamite, and it's yeah. culturally quirkiness yeah. to me. Um, but, so, yeah, I think overall, I, that's why I can't say I'm out, because I think there was, I think there's much more to praise, even though I think as an um, uh, American who speaks English, I'm sure I can't relate to this film as much as a Malayali yeah. obviously can, and I, I chalk that to mostly, but I think cinematic wise and um certain how artistic things were done that's why i can't say i'm out i i yeah. I, I think it's it's um <laughs> i thought i was gonna say b minus but i gave you know the alia film a b minus but i feel much better about this b minus than i do that b minus maybe it just had higher expectations, expectations. For, yeah it's, <laughs> the, it's, the, it's the expectations <laughs> no, so I'd, and I, i'd probably say around that grade um i just wish i could have uh, I think tighter for sure. Two hours yeah. tighter would have helped a lot. No, I I personally and then just I, I, subtitles going slower for me. <laughs> if I'm just if I'm just stepping back and looking at the the artistry cinematically and not my own personal assessments of story and yeah. things of that nature, I I think this is a, a B plus comparatively to the B minus that we would have given to to uh, Gungabai. Yeah, but. The best way I could describe it would be like having somebody cook me a dish I've never had before from a region of the world that everybody loves. Mm. And I see the amount of work that went into it, and I can't deny the expertise and mm. the passion that went into yeah. it. And other people love it, but for me, when I took a bite, I was like, ooh, yeah, no, yeah. I, I'm good. I Thank you, but no. That's 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 what my Obviously, end result was. People have different opinions on films, and exactly. that's why we're here, guys. To, opinions, to, friends. To talk about those opinions. But please let us know what you thought about this film and what should be our next Malayalam film. That we should watch. Obviously, we've seen 22, you said? 22. Unless our count was wrong. Yeah, I think it's accurate. I updated it right at the end of the year, so we should be but at... he's old, so he might have messed up. It's true. Who knows? It could be 47. <laughs> <laughs> but let us know what the next Malayalam film we should watch is down below. Oh, also, what, what happened? happened? Subin. I didn't know he was in this. Oh, yeah. I loved seeing Subin. I did. Thank you. I'm glad Sorry. you said that. that was we love my, him. That was one of my favorite, actually, parts. I like the, the, the break dancing. Scenes. I thought those were fun, and and the sound Subin, of the mirror. The, Subin no. with his friend, who also liked the girl. I thought they were quirky and Subin's cute. whistle. Uh, Subin. I I didn't know he was in this, and yeah. also I, for a second I was like, is, is, that, is that really him? He looked yeah. young, and he was I'm like glad you brought that up. And he was like, anyway, I just wanted to bring that end. up because I love Subin, and I think he's a fantastic actor. Anyways, let us know what the next Malayalam film should be down below.